Uh, I hope in general are fond of John Calvin. I've told the story before, I'm sure, from the pulpit that, well, I grew up in, in Reformed Church in America, but you don't pick up on all these things as kids. And I came home from school one day in middle school, went to a public school, so we weren't having a great lesson on Calvin. There was just a paragraph about John Calvin in whatever textbook we were using on Western history. And of course, in a single paragraph in a big book, what's it gonna say about John Calvin? He taught predestination that God chooses who would be saved and who would be damned or something. And even though I sh I'm sure I should have known better, it you know strikes you as, well, I'm not sure if that's a, a good thing or not. So I came home and I was ready to tell my mom about this slightly concerning thing. And I mentioned John Calvin. And before I could get to the concern, she said, oh, John Calvin, we like him. <laughs> Mothers, fathers, you never know what little sentence lodges into your children's brain. So I just paused there. I didn't continue with my sentence of ignorance about John Calvin and had it impressed upon me, I should give this John Calvin guy another chance and glad that I did.